What's up to all my YouTube viewers and welcome. Welcome to yet another channel update. Yes, I know it's been a long time coming, but a long time since I gave you guys one of these channel updates. I'm over looking at the damn screen instead of looking at the lens. It's been a long time since I gave you guys one of these channel updates. And yeah, I know you guys, some of you guys have been waiting and stuff like that, but I got a relatively big update for you guys today. Um, as you guys should already know, it's been a while, so you know. Um, so I'm gonna touch on some latest videos I've been working on, some videos I got coming up. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's talk about the latest videos I released recently, music videos and dance videos. You guys see my recent dance video. I did that right before, or was that after my birthday? I think that was on our, I think it was right before my birthday, like three days before my birthday, I ended up doing that little dance video. You know, just a little something, something to feed, to feed my fans and stuff like that. You guys already know I love to dance and I've been doing it forever, taught my own hip hop class, stuff like that. And I just love what I do and that's how I stay healthy and stay in shape. One of the, one of the ways I stay healthy and in shape, you know what I'm saying? So also shout out to Buckwheat Ote. He's been getting videos done by me this year. He got two done. Still nobody else got any videos done this year, which is understandable with everything that's going on. Also, you know, everybody budget ain't really on point now days you know so he came around got some work done knocked some videos out um the first video we did you know me and him is kind of similar when it comes to our creativity like a lot of our spare the moment videos turn out to be real good videos you know i'm real good at taking i can take any environment take any you know any situation any scene and just you know make it look good with my camera movement me make, making it match the song and then the way i do my edits and my chops and my you know everything like that I just know how to bring videos to life no matter what we're doing, no matter what the concept is, and no matter what we're filming at. You know, I still know how to make it do what it do. Because a lot of stuff I do and a lot of scenes I use, that's why I always consider myself as being underrated and overlooked. Because a lot of stuff that I use, even the artists don't remember me, me, remember me recording that. Because I use every little thing. Even if I just barely turn the camera on before I even turn the music on, they may be talking on the phone to somebody and put their phone away and make a certain type of face and the camera be recording. And I can make that match a certain part of the song where it seemed like we did that on purpose. That's the type of editing I do. Also this year, as you guys been seeing, the very start of this year, I've been working on my BMW X3. And um, just to reiterate how I you know, acquired the vehicle and, and where I'm at with, when it comes to repairs and working on it, um, I actually had got it from them. Uh, them uh, managers calling to pick up the rent. Hold on. Hello? Hey Marvin, you're home? Yes ma'am. Renee is coming. Okay, I'll be here. All right, thank you. All right, all right. So back to the video. Um, so basically, just to re retouch on how I got the vehicle and where I'm at with it and stuff like that. Um, basically, um, I got it from a client that I was doing videos for, and we still I still do videos for him, but. I end up doing so much stuff with this vehicle and actually the videos that you guys are watching is old like this stuff is filmed all these videos that's about to come up and as has came up uh, that you've been watching with the BMW X3 fixes those are like months and months and months old from earlier this year and it's just been taking me a lot of time to just produce them and putting them out there on YouTube other than that you know a lot of these videos were from March and April and stuff like that you guys gonna see all the videos leading up to where I'm at right now with it you know I'm, I'm close to having it complete with that with the last codes off and stuff um, um, I'm just ready to be back on the road 100% with my baby, you know, and I was gonna get rid of it But everybody that I bring it around everybody that sees it everybody that and I don't even been to mention that I fixed it up until they said something until they've been to say something Everyone loves it. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's an 07, everyone loves my vehicle even more than I do Like they be like tripping out like bro. I love your lights. I love this like oh my god like Whoa, and I'd be like, oh, I did all this myself. I can do some stuff to your vehicle too. Depends on, depends on your model. I think I might start, that might be another avenue for me to make some money. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's intrigued. Like everyone that looks at my vehicle likes it. So, you know, and I even, I'm not even done. I'm just trying to get the, co the mechanical stuff done so I can finish the cosmetic stuff. Also, shout out to the people that be watching me, you know, that I know on a personal level. It's kind of cool where coincidentally I be having like people that work alongside me and some of my workers will come up to me like, hey man, I just saw your YouTube video. I didn't even know you did YouTube videos. Like it's crazy. I was watching the videos and I'm like, oh wait, I know this guy, you know? So I like experiences like that. I like how people find me like that because it goes to show that I'm, I'm out here. I'm doing my thing. But speaking of people that know me on a personal level that be watching me, some of y'all be chewing me up, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to the flow in which I put out my videos. I like that too at the same time, but at the same time though, where the fuck y'all asses be at when I be needing comments and stuff for motivation, you know, on my videos to pump me up to get me to push out more videos at a faster rate. Y'all be the main people that don't never leave no comments on my videos, but say that y'all support me. That's like going to your son's baseball game. You're sitting inside the crowd, but everybody else is making noise when you hit, when you hit a home run, but you're just, you're just sitting there. You're not even making no noise. How does that feel? 
I hate when people do that to me. Like they'd be like, hey, I watch all your videos and stuff. I may not leave comments. I may not, you know what I'm saying, engage with the video, but I do watch you. How would I know that? I don't see you. Like I may, I see the views. Like when you look into the crowd, you see a crowd of people. That you might have fans and you might have your family right there in the crowd. But when you look at the crowd, all you see is a big ass crowd. So when I look at the views, all I see is views. I don't see y'all in particularly. I gotta see you make noise in the crowd to know that you're there to give me that extra boost of confidence. Cause all these other people, even though it feels good too, and don't take this the wrong way, people out there, but when somebody know you before you even started all this stuff and they're cheering you along, that's a whole different cheer, my friend. Like, trust me, that is a whole different cheer. It hits way different. What's up? Oh, the rent. My bad. <laughs> my bad, that was my son. Uh, letting me know that he's here to pick up the rent. But yeah, man, see you see your boy busy, you know what I'm saying? I'm over here making YouTube videos, paying bills, you know what I'm saying? But I love what I do. I love my life because it's way different than how it should have been based off who I had to look up to. I really had nobody to look up to when it comes to men out here and stuff like that. And some of the people I could have looked up to, and I made a short vlog too up on Instagram talking about this topic. But the people I should have looked up to, if I would have stayed looking up to them or if I would have looked up to them, I would have been on some fuckery, gang banging, thugging, using women, selling drugs, because they on the same fuckery that they were on when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. Like I said inside the vlog, man, I set my I set my future up like it's a savings account. I never been locked up, no traffic tickets, never been evicted, never been fired, because I use my life as like a savings, set my life up for my future. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do things to save up for your future life. Like for example, I didn't start drinking until I was 26. You know what I'm saying? Most people start drinking when they like fucking 17, 16, and if you wonder how old I am right now, you may be thinking, wait, you look like you're 26 right now. We're gonna get to that in a moment. Next up, snack time. So um, me and my son, I know it's been like damn near a whole year, this whole 2020. This supposed to have been season two of snack time, it's 2020. But what we're gonna do is a season finale of snack time coming up soon. Just watching our old videos, laughing and stuff like that. And thanks for those of you that have been leaving comments on our snack time videos and stuff like that. We starting to get comments now. We got some that got damn near 500 views on one of the snack time videos. So yeah, I'm, I, I've been letting my son know that, yeah, they've been picking up. So we gotta continue to do what we do and just, we like having fun, and especially when we both inside a little goofy mode, oh man, it's a wrap. It's guaranteed a good video, make your ass laugh. If you don't laugh, then something wrong with you. Oh, the ice cream truck, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Got the apple, dance style, cream cheese, strawberry, Boston, cream pie, cream cheese, and strawberry snoon roll, raspberry, strawberry apple, blueberry, wildberry, cherry, donut shop, and we about to get started. And other little ideas I got coming up for snack time. We're not just going to just be only testing out new cereal and cookies and stuff that come out like we already been doing. We're going to like try like different bundles of like snacks from different countries and stuff like that. That's another idea I had from buying uh, stuff off of Amazon, like food and stuff while my son was going in Kansas. All right. So next up, I wrote on my notes, gaming videos. I don't know why I wrote that down on here for. I don't know what I was going to talk about, but I just... Why well, I might as well talk about it since I got it on here. I've been doing gaming videos, not on this channel, but I've been post posting a lot of gaming videos on my gaming channel. Panel games. Let's go. Ain't panel games. Who else wanted? Let's go. Who else wanted? I'm not playing no games. Let's go, boy! <laughs> Universal Gamer on the six. On the stickums. Ah, hold on. Killing spree. Killing spree. Ah, he just killed me. You know, I've been, I, my son got me a Ghost of Toshima for my birthday, so man, that game is good. I, I did not expect it to be so big and so open world. You know, I expect it to be like a tad bit linear, but it's completely open world. You can go wherever you want, do whatever missions you want, you know, and I've been playing for hours and hours and hours and hours. I'm still not even done with the first little section. And there's like two other big ass sections of the map to uh, explore and do missions in. So I love games like that. And that's all I'm talking about when it comes to gaming videos, because this channel update is already long, probably gonna be like 17, 15 minutes. So next up, like I said, I was gonna mention this again, bring it back up, but I just turned 35 years old, August 5th. You know, last month, I actually was gonna film this vlog, just gaming, gaming, this channel update, like a little bit before my birthday, which was the plan, or a little bit after my birthday, but it's way fucking uh, September right now. Um, so, you know, 
better late than never but you know your boy just turned 35 my son turned 15 this year and um yeah your boy's something like an angel um and they still be tripping, tripping people out you know when i go to work i have a meeting let people know how we did yesterday and stuff like that and where we need to pick up today and you know how many trucks we have to unload and you know what we're going to be doing out on the sales floor because you know your boy is a boss you know but you know so and i and the day before my birthday i had told people if they can guess my age i buy somebody lunch only one person guessed it correctly and that's only because i gave people a hint if i never gave a hint nobody would never guess my age I, the hint i gave was my age is very hard to guess. So when you look at me, I look young, so everybody else, so everybody automatically started guessing high, but only one said 35. I wish I had everybody's reactions recorded, so I, cause when I finally told everybody my actual age, everybody just like, was like, what? And a couple other young dudes was like, damn dude, I'm trying to look like that when I'm that age, like damn, what the hell? I be trying to tell people, man, I'm something like an angel, you know, your boy hella spiritual, proof shows. Proof is in the, the proof is in the pudding, baby. And last topic, you know, because I know the channel update is long. I'm, I'm gonna be dreading inside the editor. I'm gonna be an editor like, man, shut your ass up, damn. That's why it's long. You talking too damn much. And last but not least, your boy is booed up. You know what I'm saying? That's another. That's another place my time been going. Not too much because we have a big time. We have a major time difference. She lives away in Nigeria, so you know, um, yeah, your boy then went foreign with it and i thought about being celibate for a while anyways because i'm getting tired of being inside relationships where it's not even a relationship it's because you know but with that being said people of youtube as you can motherfucking see the channel update was pretty long so um i hope you guys enjoyed it you know um it's like 12 noon right now or a little bit after 12 noon she'll be going on 1 1 30 um you have to just enjoy the rest of my uh, last day off from my uh regular job so i work at walmart you know for the people that don't know I'm a manager, been a manager for about a year and a half now, going on a year and a half. So I got another video, which I might film today, actually. Might, I'm not gonna put it up today, of course, but I'm gonna film it today, more than likely, probably. And that is what it takes, talking about what it takes to be a manager and what can boost you up to be a manager in any type of job, any company, any anywhere. You know what I'm saying? F key fundamentals that get people to look at you as a boss, you know? And at first I was gonna do this vlog series and I filmed some, like there's a lot of videos I filmed, but I never put up. I had started filming this series of me and wanting to film this series of me getting off work every day as a boss and going to work as a manager and vlogging before I go in and then vlogging how my day was afterwards and stuff and my experiences I had, things I've learned and the differences from, you know, and responsibilities and stuff like that. But I kind of wasn't feeling how they were coming out and I kind of was losing, I kind of wasn't filming some of the day, some of the days. So I got an idea recently when I was planning out my channel update just you know go through a list of different key fundamentals of things that it takes to be a manager and just put inside a countdown and just do a video like that so that's what i'm gonna do so with that being said people of youtube it's been your boy the hobby collector once again i've been trying to end this video off like for the third time but this is what happens when you haven't filmed a video in a long time got a lot to touch on pause so with that being said man i'm out of here hope you guys been staying safe and sanitized and drinking a lot of water and not taking any medication if you want to look young like me so with that being said i'm out peace your boy got a girlfriend you know what i'm saying got booed up once again i always tell him and i don't know what it is about the summertime you wouldn't be knowing what the hell y'all be doing bruh it's like let me stop <laughs>